On January 9, 2002, a 40-ton tractor tanker crashed into Marsha Road's stop car, causing many awful injuries to Marsha, including paralysis. Her husband, Harold, was forced to deal with a distraught daughter, mounting financial difficulties, and later a seemingly uncaring legal system. Harold kept a daily diary for the next 10 years. Timeline 1 describes Marsha's enormous medical and emotional struggles, as well as Harold's many mistakes in caring for Marsha. Timeline 2 tells how, through a clever legal maneuver, the truck driver's criminal record would be wiped clean in just two years. Timeline 3 provides an amazing inside look into the methods used by Zurich and AIG to postpone paying compensation for over three years, causing interrogatories to be taken, depositions to be given, and then a six-day personal injury trial to determine the damages from a crash for which Marsha was not at all responsible. Timeline 4 explains the unsuccessful legal action that Marsha took to prevent insurance companies from causing future blameless victims to wait many years for compensation for their catastrophic injuries. In Timeline 5, this unsuccessful legal decision would be appealed to a higher court, which also did very little to protect future blameless victims. In Timeline 6, now 10 years after the crash, the final legal decision was provided by the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. Although this decision somewhat improved the lives for future blameless victims, only on this day did Marsha Rhodes truly become the blameless victim. The Blameless Victim by Harold S. Rhodes is available at www.amazon.com and other retail outlets. All proceeds from sales of the blameless victim will be given to the Milford Regional Medical Center.